Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today I am so excited to say I'm joined by some of the cast of Amazon Studios' new series, I Know What You Did Last Summer. Hey guys, how are we? Good. Hey, great. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good. First off, major congratulations on this new series of I Know What You Did Last Summer. I mean, I had the pleasure of watching the first four episodes and I am absolutely hooked. So a major congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you so much. You. How does it feel now that it's almost out? I'm so excited for everyone to be able to watch this and see what we've been working on and to see their like reaction to everything. I feel everything one could possibly feel before a show drops, so. Yeah. Ashley, this is kind of your first, you know, go into the TV space. So this is probably extra exciting for you. Yeah, um, actually both Zeke and I, this is our first series. Um, and so, yeah, it's a bit nerve wracking. And I mean, I still get, I, I mean, I'm so, I, I watched the first four as well and it was like so uncomfortable for me. I'm like, oh my God, I did that. <laughs> like, you know, but it's, it's honestly, it's, it's so, it was so much fun. And yeah, I'm just really excited to see what's to come after this. Now, Brianne and Sebastian, this question is for both of you, but I wanna know, what do you think in this series of I Know What You Did Last Summer, you know, what's gonna be new in this series that we're missing in the TV space right now? I think it's, it's obviously based on this classic kind of mistake, paying for your consequences kind of, kind of thing. But I, I, I think that it's its own world. I mean, it creates its own livable universe with real deep characters. And I think there's always place for perspective. Um, it obviously has a little bit of a lot of things in it. So um, I think it will keep people on the edge of their seats and entertain, so yeah. For my answer, it's like, it's kind of threefold, you know? It's like, there's this um, nostalgia aspect because it we are drawing inspiration from the original material. But on top of that, it's like, it's horror thriller. It's this murder mystery, which, you know, who doesn't love? It's so exciting. But what we do, especially in the young adult space is that we really dive into these characters and make them um, multi-dimensional and interesting. And, you know, they come off as maybe like a trope or a stereotype, but then because it's a TV show, we get to dive in and really like, see all the other aspects of these characters, which makes it interesting and uh, relatable. Yeah. What would you guys say in this first four episodes, you know, what does it say about friendship? And what do you guys want the viewers to take away from, you know, this bond that you all have as friends keeping this secret? I mean, these characters, whatever their faults may be, they are very loyal to each other. Mm -hmm. They are very, very loyal to each other. Um, and I think that maybe i want viewers to take away even a question about what they would do for the people that they love now ezekiel and ashley what do you guys want the viewers at home to go into this series knowing about your characters dylan and riley i think that i would love them to know that he's a uh, soft-spoken intellectual forward strong moral compass and a strong conscience and that he carries a lot of weight with him and cast yeah. the dark shadow. Yeah, with with Riley, I would want people to take away that she, you know, isn't this crazy, strong, tough girl at all times. You know, she's still very vulnerable and um, emotional, like a lot of us and, um, you know, cares a lot about her friends and like what they think and she just wants that love from everyone. Now, you guys, last question for me, but what do you want the viewers at home to go into this series knowing about your characters, Johnny and Margot? I think I want people to know that there's more to Margot than meets the eye. I would just... <laughs> I think for Johnny, it's fair to say that you're gonna love him. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think he's uh, subversive. Yeah, I think uh, you're gonna, you're gonna like him more than you think. Absolutely. Now, you guys, major congratulations to you guys. And for everyone at home, make sure you guys are checking them out. And I know what you did last summer, which premieres on Amazon Prime October 15th. Thank you guys so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice talking to you. Nice talking. Bye.